Kirby has practiced in so far this week. Good. Um, thought we were a little, uh, a little slow on Monday, uh, getting back late and getting a start. Uh, and we, you know, did it a little less than we normally do on Mondays, but we uh, had a good one today. A really physical Tuesday, and um, got after it, and it was probably warmer than I expected. I don't know what the temperature was, but it seemed warmer. And um, we were outside for most of the day, and had like one period each inside. But they, they got, they, they, they played physical. They, they understand. We had a lot of coaches that have played in this game, and coached in this game. We got two Auburn alum. We got. Uh, bunch of Georgia alum, and the, the historic nature of this game is very personal, and um, and we had guys talk about that, you know, and just just explaining uh, what the, what the game means, and uh, I think the players recognize that, and they certainly practice hard. Yeah, Kirby, I'll talk a lot about. It. Discipline, just in general, and when it comes to defending all just what are the keys to working on that and being where you need to be going into a game like this, particularly uh, with the linebackers? Well, I mean, it, to be honest with you, you have high discipline every game. There's no, there's no team that doesn't shift motion, move, trade, tight end, move. This game, I mean, it's like football now. Football has become this crazy event of moving people, reaching out to try to gain an advantage. And, uh, I don't know where it evolved to. It's just continued to, you know, it used to be everybody standing still and hit each other, and now they all move. So, I mean, the eye discipline is extremely important, but it's extremely important in every game. Um, I think with, with, with Hugh, he does a great job of uh, changing things up, you know, giving you different pictures. Um, they did a tremendous job in the game last year. You know, we had a really good defense, and last year's game has been uh, very important to us in terms of, um, the way he played us, what he did, um, things off of it, and uh, I mean, it, it will take great eye discipline to play well against him. Look, they, they, people don't misunderstand. They think that you're just coach speak when you talk about Auburn. These guys have not really made, like, they're not getting stopped. They're turning the ball over. Look at the stats of what they've done offensively. Don't look at the, the point, the scores. Just look at them going up and down the field, and they, they, they stop themselves a lot of times. So a lot of respect for physicality they play with and um, how they play. They just, you know, sometimes it's hard to control turnovers. Last question for me about the Alabama game. The, the final offensive play you guys had for Colby Young, obviously we've seen how good he is at uh, those one-on-one -on -one moments. How did you feel about the play, the effort and execution of it? Obviously it didn't work. Uh, but I have to ask, it, it, you probably, I'm assuming in, in your headphones, did, did you know would you have kicked the extra point? We're gone for two in that situation. Yeah, a, a very interesting question. We had, uh, <laughs> I can't really say a lot about the play because I like the play call. I mean, it, it worked previous, you know. I mean, I don't, he, he's a guy that, you know, we, we got, he gets on top of people, you throw it over the top. He gets behind people, you throw it underneath. He makes a big play a lot of times. I mean, um, great play by their kid, I'll say that. Um, but I, I have no problem with the play call because, you know, we, we, were, we were getting on top of them. Uh, prior to that, so, um, but we had discussed that. I had talked about it actually in the link on the headphones at, at two minute mark, and we actually talked about it before the game because you know the LSU game came down to that with them, and LSU was at home when they decided, and uh, we had discussed it um, previous, and, and I felt very strongly that if the clock was under 30 seconds, um, that we would probably uh, go for two. But talking to the analytics afterwards. It, uh, it was suggested to, to not do it, you know, to play overtime, to kick it. And there's a lot that goes into that because when you give a team enough time and they know what they need, meaning it's not tied, they have more aggression. They had three timeouts. They would have had only needed a field goal. Um, it would have played out, you know, a possibly different way. But we had discussed it and leaning towards one for two if it was under, uh, if it was under 30, which I think happened around 43 or something. So. Yeah, what does Michael Williams' skill set allow him to do as an edge defender that makes him so impactful in that regard? Well, he has great length, great size, great athleticism. And when you play on tackles, the number one requirement is arm length. You know, most of the tackles in our league have 35, 34, and they have long arms. And when you play with somebody with short arms, they, they struggle to create an edge and set an edge. And he's able to set edges 
uh, at a high level for us because he's he's big enough to play it, but he's also athletic enough to do some of the things outside backers do. So he's uh, he's cutting the cloth of what you want to play with out there on the edges. Coach, what stands out to you about Jarquez Hunter and the season that he's been able to have so far? I heard Jarquez Hunter. What yeah, you? just what stands out to you about him and Whew. the way he plays? A lot. I mean, the dude, I don't know if it's the 27 thing, he reminds me so much of Nick Chubb. I mean, he's got a straight line and he's like, he, he, he's so physical. People just bounce off of him. And it goes back to all those squat records. You know, we got one of our coaches coached him. Uh, Coach Bobo had him. Um, yeah, I think maybe his freshman year, I'm not sure, but he, he talks about how great a kid he is, how strong he is, and then people literally bounce off of him. Like, you, 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 he's just a super physical, downhill, like he makes you not want to tackle him. And he, you know, he embarrassed us two years ago here, and then he had a really good game against us there. So we think, you know, he's one of the best backs in the country. And I, I don't know the perception out there, but it, it's, to us it is. He's very, very good. Yeah, Coach, you mentioned the Auburn turnovers. When you watch them on tape, is there anything that they consistently struggle with that might be causing those or might be something that you could do to create some of those yourself? No, I wish. I wish I knew how to, like, sprinkle some dust and, 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 and get them and stop them. If I could figure that out, man, I would uh, I'd be able to retire real soon because I could go around and just, like, give it to everybody, you know. But nobody knows. I mean, they, 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 don't, they don't carry the ball poorly. They don't have poor ball security. They've had some unfortunate events and fumbles. And uh, they've had some unfortunate, they had tips. I mean, some of their interceptions are, are tips and overthrows. I mean, how, how do you control that? I mean, number one, you catch the ball, but uh, it's hard to, it's just hard to control that. I, I don't know, every year somebody different wins the, the turnovers in the country. And you just don't want to be the team turning it over. Okay, we have a follow-up on Jarquez with him and, and really the other one that they've got. Mm -hmm. What does that kind of add to the element of the RPO that they use? I mean, the fact that they've got those kind of dangerous backs oh, as part it, of it. It makes you stop the run, right? Like if you could sit back and, 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 and play less people in the box and, 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 and cover all the RPOs, well, you know, you, you play like a, uh, a team that you – you, uh, what do you call it, a lesser, lower level team, a team you pay. You come in here and they run RPOs, you're like, oh, okay, I can put one less in the box and I can cover these guys and dare you to run it. Well, you can't do that with them. you got to fill the box up. you got to go stop the run. and That's why he does what he does. He puts you in conflict. It's a, it's a guaranteed one-on-one -on -one matchup that you, you better have people that can cover people because if you don't, then they'll expose you. Yeah, Austin Lucky had another touchdown catch against Alabama. What has his playmaking skill set as a pass catcher brought to that tight end room into this offense? Uh, versatility, um, athleticism. Um, he, 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 he's really a tough guy. I mean, he's, he's physical, tough, not afraid to get after it, but he's also a good pass receiver. I mean, um, you, when you say, what has he brought? He's brought the, the versatility to run or pass. and. Um, He's getting better. I mean, he's still young in my eyes. I mean, most times your second year in college is like you're just starting to come out of your shell. And he's he's uh, he missed a lot of time last year with the injury. If you think back, I think it was this game that he was just coming back in the, the, the tightrope. So he's really a year removed from that. And, um, the sky is the limit. Lawson can be really good. He keeps getting better. I, I like his confidence and I like uh, his leadership and his his mindset. He, he's got a toughness mindset. Another tight end question, Kirby, uh, been your process. What's been the biggest adjustment you've had to make since kind of put Stafford over here? You no, know, I don't really know that because I, I never asked him that. Um, that'd be a good question if you if you asked him that. I don't uh, I don't know the comparison. You know, uh, I, I know the speed of the game is really fast here. I can't say that that's the biggest difference. I think he would have to answer that. When you talk about having um, people talk to the team about Auburn, are these the coaches on your staff? Do you have special guests come in, and, and why is that important? No, it's us. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's us. It's, I mean, because you know, T. Rob and Stacy played there, you know, yeah. and uh, all, a lot of us played in it between uh, Jonas, myself, Jarvis, Bobo, uh, all the guys that, that played in the game. That's all I'm referencing. I think it's, I just think it's important that you know that history. Yeah, how has Ellis Robinson been developing for you guys in practice? Ellis is getting better. He works his tail off. Um, you know, we've tried to find roles for him on special teams. He's continuing to grow. 
Uh, he practices with the twos, you know, all practices and um, goes one-on-one -on -one reps and gets better. Um, he's, he, he's a good tackler. Um, he's physical with the line of scrimmage. Does a good job with his hands. Um, good job of ball location, like getting balls down. Um, but he's continuing to challenge those other guys. And we've, we've had those guys this week all giving lot, lots of reps and competing. Coach, another DD question. Where have you seen Daniel Harris get out of the season? How do you think it looked in coverage on Saturday? Well, uh, he, he, had, he had opportunities. He does a good job at the line of scrimmage. He had a really good play on fourth and one where he, he came and closed and uh, helped set an edge on the uh, stop we had on them on fourth and one. Um, Daniel continues to grow and mature. You know, he's 193 pounds now, and that's a big corner. And he doesn't even look 193. He could be 200 pounds easily because he's so long. Um, but his, his practice habits have improved the most, and I've challenged him to say, you know, if you could – practice every day and, I, and I, I tell them all the time what would Kamari do what would Kamari do and they'd probably get sick of hearing it and comparison is the peak of joy but Kamari is such a great practice player and walkthrough player that you know we have clips of him doing things in practice and walkthrough that, that we want them to emulate and you know, he and Julio and, and Dalen and all those guys they got they got to practice very intentional and stay focused and it helps them play better. Looking at the matchup with Auburn's offense, what do you want to see from your defense on Saturday? What does success for the defense look like to you? Stops. I mean, that's, that's what it looks like. They're, they're, look, they're hard to stop, guys. I mean, you're going to say, everybody's going to say I'm crazy. But they're physical. They got good scheme, good plays, experienced quarterback, talented wideouts, great backs. I mean, they, 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 the tight ends, they got to play forever. Those guys have been there playing football forever, so it's not like they're, the moment's too big for them. Or they, they don't experience is value in our league, and they got tremendous experience. But I mean, what what looks good is punts. That's what looks good. Coach, again, you talk about Brandon you know, speaking to different mind players, you know how what what the rivalry means and everything. Do you think players today are aware of that kind of thing? Less than like say when you play go back in the late night, we all more aware of how what these rivalries were, what they meant. Well, you didn't have to have this kind of reminding. Oh, we still had them. I mean, we had, we had we had history lessons. We had coaches that told us the history of the every game. I mean, we had them. I knew them because I grew up in a football family and loved football. All I did was watch football. But that's not what these kids do today. I don't think these kids know um, as much. I mean, they don't they don't they don't watch football. A lot of them. They don't even they just they play it, but they don't watch it. They don't, they don't, they don't know. And you ask them, like, who's your favorite NFL team? I don't know. <laughs> that kind of strange you though. Like I said, you grew up watching the game well, whenever you had yeah, They had more. They got more things to do. Yeah. They got more uh, attention uh, options. You know, they're going to be on their phone, looking at social media, doing whatever. They're not going to watch. It's just not what they do anymore. So it, I think it's important to make sure they understand. Career high number of snaps for uh, Cash on Saturday. Just what has he done to continue to earn a role in this offense? What hasn't he done? He does everything he's asked. He competes. He practices at a high level. He earns what he gets. And matter of fact, he's probably earned uh, more than he's gotten. Um, but it, it was his kind of game. He's really good at pass pro. He's really physical at pass pro. He's really good at route running. Um, he understands leverages. Uh, he's been in our system a long time. Uh, he plays great on special teams. Like he's, he's earned everything he's gotten. Got time for one more question? Anybody? Obviously, uh, you guys have done um, a good job of trying to get Dylan Bell touches the last couple of years. Um, what's his development as a receiver? Been obviously, he made a big play towards the end. Uh, you know. I think he's gotten a lot better. So a lot out. I think Coley and Mike have done a good job taking what B Mac did and transitioning that uh, into more. And uh, he's a very uh, just great young man. <laughs> he's just he's a, he's. he's uh, He's from a great high school over in Houston. He's got a great mom, brother plays, you know, I think at Notre Dame. He's just a great kid, and he works so hard. He's developed. I mean, he was a high school running back and uh, could, could probably play running back. You know, he did for us, but he's developed. He got better better at route running, and um, his hard work has really, really paid off for him. So I'm just uh, proud of what he's done and the opportunities he's gotten. He's taken advantage of, and we got to try to find you know, more opportunities for a guy like him. Thank you. Yeah, I get that. I was just I'm pretty certain. Yeah, I don't get it.